Hey guys. Um, I've been working on my uh, game engine for a while, and Hacker Cat's helping. Um, and since we're interested in food, I'm eating some popcorn right now. Uh, I forgot to turn off the music, so I'm listening to OC Remix stuff while I work. Uh, but one of the things that I've been researching recently and finding really useful for my project is uh, in-game UE architecture. Hold on one second. Should have turned that off. Um, you know, there isn't too much information out there related to how you would organize things like this in a game. Um, you know, how you separate the game itself the engine, all the data within it, and how you present that to the player. Uh, there is a lot on like MVC, a model view controller, or um, you know similar uh, kinds of things, but a lot of it seems to get glossed over in the literature. Um, anything I find on MVC is usually pretty superficial and it doesn't really translate well to what I'm trying to do, or at least maybe I just don't know how um, so I recently was doing more research, found something called Model View Presenter, uh, and some related things, and luckily that seemed to have been covered a lot to the point where I was able to read up on all these different articles about different kinds of, uh, presenters, and, um, I think a lot of it makes a lot more sense to me, and I realized I was doing things backwards within my game engine, uh, which is making things a very hard to... To, to change or add, uh, like I need, like I wanted to change the way I was handling my menu system, and I just decided uh, within the game. Um, so like when you click on a tower, it used to be a pie menu would pop up, but I found that that was kind of annoying, and it also I, I decided that I was going to have a little regular like RTS kind of build queue, and yeah, like I said, I it, I painted myself into a corner with how I had things before. Um, so my my research is paying off. It's very painful <laughs> to change everything around um, within my code. I'm doing test driven development too, so it kind of makes it hard to just hack things together. Um, but I'm actually really pleased with how things are proceeding. Um, but uh, I was wondering, like, uh, anybody else ever run into stuff like that, or are you guys? Uh, for the most part, like experienced enough as engineers that you're like, oh, I don't even, I didn't even know that that was a pattern. I've just been programming that way all the time, and, um, and that's the way I feel sometimes. Is that I'm uh, way behind in my software development career compared to some of you guys, because it seems like you, you know, either come from game dev backgrounds or you're programmers, and games just, you know, are just a faster uh, kind of interface that you've already implemented before in different places. Um, like, I'm not trying to make things perfect, but I, I, I mean, just from the recent research, suddenly everything is coming together in a bit more, uh, I mean, it makes sense even if I don't follow it, uh, uh, you know, and I, I don't plan on following it exactly, but like, even when I, even then, I'm still, uh, I got a better mental model, I grok it better. Uh, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna press the button now.